Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Bentley Continental R Mulliner. Next to me that way is a Bentley Continental GT Speed, the very latest car. Next to me that way is a Bentley Turbo R. And at the far end is a Bentley Blower from almost 100 years ago. Anyway, we're gonna have a drag race because I wanna see exactly how much performance of Bentley's performance models has changed throughout the years. Actually, these cars are historically important to Bentley because they each represent a landmark in Bentley's performance history. Obviously, the Blow was their first performance car. The Turbo R was the very first time when Bentley broke out of Rolls-Royce's shadows because they were part of the same company at one time as being a performance brand again. This car was the very last car of Bentley's production line using the old Rolls-Royce base chassis and engine before they used the VW source parts for the new Bentley Continental GT and obviously the new GT Speed is the second generation of Bentley Continental GT and the very fastest version ever. Let me tell you the stats on these cars. We're going to start off actually with that Continental GT Speed and we've got our German YouTube presenter Daniel in there. Let's find out the stats on that car from him. Hey Daniel, you're right. I'm just wonderful, sitting comfortably in luxury. I'm feeling the same. I think everyone is, apart from the person in the blow-up. First of all, give me the stats on your car. So I have a 6-litre W12 bi-turbo engine, which makes 659 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. The total weight of this car is 2,198 kilos. The euro price is somewhere around 280,000 euros. Okay, what's the pounds? Uh, I think it's 225. There you go, Daniel. Let me tell you about this. It's got a 6.75 turbocharged V8. It puts out 420 horsepower and 880 newton meters of torque. Quite heavy because of all the wood and metal. Comes in at 2.4 tons. Value of this car, 150,000 pounds. Now let's find out about the turbo R from Yanni. He will know nothing about it. He never does. Yanni, you're right, mate. Young Matthew, how are you, my friend? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm very much hoping that you've done your homework on that car because you always let everyone down. Of course I have. This is a Bentley R. Yes, it is a Bentley R, but what engine's in it? 6.8 litre turbocharged V8. And what's the power output? 302 horsepower, 660 newton meters of torque. How much does it weigh? 2,450 kilos. Oh, similar to this then. And the value? About 40 grand. Now I've got a four speed torque converter gearbox in this car. How many gears you got in your car, Yanni? Three. How many gears you got in your car, Daniel? Eight. How many clutches you got in your car? Two. And that brings us on to the old blower Bentley. And driving that is Mike from Bentley. Hi, Mike, you're right. Hello, Mike, how are you? I'm nice and warm. How are you? <laughs> I'm a little bit colder than you. How old is that car? She's 93 years old. Give us the, all the performance stats on your car. So I've got a four and a half litre straight four with a big supercharger on the front, making 240 horsepower. 240, that's quite a lot for like 93 years ago. Do you know the torque figure on it? No, that one's a bit trickier. We think it's about 350 newton meters. What about in terms of the gears? We're all automatics. I'm taking it your car is not. Yeah, I've got my work out here. I've got a four speed, completely unsynchronized crash box. What's the value of that blower Bentley? This is worth about 20 million. Oh my God. That is officially the most valuable car we have ever drag raced on Car Wow. Now, if you like these kind of drag races and you want to see what other cars we might be drag racing in future, maybe we'll do something more valuable than that Bentley. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. I'm determined to find a car more expensive to drag race than that Bentley. Anyway, let's do this. Buy, sell, Car Wow. Right now, before we drag race, we're going to do the customary car wash sound check. Going to start off with the Continental GT. Daniel, can you rev up your car and let us hear its W12 engine? That is sounding pretty sweet. Is there a soft limiter on it? No, it doesn't have anything that is stopping it. Right, I'm going to rev this up. This whole car shakes like there's an earthquake happening every time you press the throttle. It's really quite cool and it sounds nice. Go on, Yanni, rev up yours. And finally, Mike, rev up your blower. I'm guessing you don't have a soft limiter on your car, Mike. No, just a soft ankle. There is one other thing I want to show you because I'm going to do a horn test. Let's start off with you, Daniel. You honk your horn. 
That's all right. Now I'm going to honk mine. However, I have another sound to it because I press a button then I get dual horns. So I can switch, listen. The high pitch one sort of is a little bit clown-like. Do you have that feature in your car, Yanni? Mike, do you have a horn? I'm imagining that you've actually got an old-fashioned horn. Uh, it doesn't work yet, that's what you're hoping for. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now, if you want to find out how much your car is worth, because <laughs> you're thinking of selling it, you want to check out the value, you can do that through Carway, just upload some photos, give a brief description, then our dealers will bid on your car. And if you want to, you can sell it to the highest bidder, they'll come to your house, take your car away, and just put the money in your account. If you don't want it, there's no obligation to sell, and the service is completely free. So if you want to find out what your car is worth, just click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll put the link in the description below. Alternatively, if you want to do it at a later date, or you want to tell your friends and family about it, just simply Google help me car wow and we'll help you find out how much your car is worth finally then let's do this let's race and let's hope nothing goes wrong to that blower bentley because it's so valuable Three, two, one. whoa come on you bentley oh okay look at that gt speed go I beat the 20 million pound car though. <laughs> I have dropped the turbo R. Oh, this is doing all right. Ho oh, ho ho! Where's that blower? Where's the bloody thing? Oh, there it is. Is the blower even doing anything? Oh, the brakes. Brakes aren't as good as the performance. First of all, let's go to Daniel in the GT Speed. How was that for you? Very easy, barely had to do anything. Didn't even screw up the launch. You look at the difference in performance between these generations, it's quite a lot, isn't it? But I also think that this that I'm in is a massive jump forward. Over your car, Yanni, I thought we'd be closer together. Yeah, it didn't quite do what I thought it was gonna do. And the blower, Mike, did you cock up your launch? I think mostly the fact that it's 93 years old and I've got a manual crash box. Okay, to everyone who doesn't know what a crash box is, it has no synchro message, so he has to double the clutch when he's changing gears. It's a bit like kind of doing... Meh. That's it, like mm, that. You know, try and do that, rub your stomach, and tap your head, then do it with the other hand. No, that's the wrong way around. There we go. It's like doing that while driving. Sorry, Yanni, what? I like the fact you use blower and cock up in the same sentence. Oh, I'm glad I went back to you for that gag. <laughs> Mike, can we do that again? I know your car's worth like 20 million or something. Do you want to do it again? Yeah, I think we should try doing it again, just in case I've got a chance of beating you all. You definitely haven't got a chance of beating us all, but let's do it again anyway. Make it go faster. I'll try. Press the accelerator harder. It's quite old. Just use launch control. Oh, come on! Mullered it off the line. Wow, look at the front of that lift up. Just amazed at the difference in performance between this and that and that and this and... Brake level mineral, mineral? Mineral oil? Mineral? Whoa, that was really good. Didn't say minimal. Similar result, really, isn't it? I just can't believe the steps in performance between these cars, it's massive. How fast do you reckon I'm going at the quarter mile line? I reckon you are doing about 70. I would have gone 74. 70 is correct. I think that's pretty respectable for a 93 year old car over a quarter mile. I also think that my guess was so spot on that I get to keep this car. No. Could I have it for a week or something? I didn't hear you. Was that a, a yes? That was a yes. I can definitely have it for a week. So then what exactly happened? Well, the GT Speed won, completing the Stanley Quarter Mile in 11.4 seconds. The Continental R finished in 14.2 seconds. The Turbo R in 16.8 seconds. 
while the blower was last taking 21.3 seconds to complete the standing quarter mile. Now you're going to have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. We're going to see which car is quickest to the half mile. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, the kickdown had gedauert. This actually kicked down quicker than the Continental GT. Now we're going. At the half mile, she's doing 100. Got to say though, it took us a while to get set up. We didn't actually start racing until the quarter mile. So at the quarter mile, we're doing 50 and then it went all the way up to 100. Yeah, your car seems to kick down similar to mine, Yanni, but honestly, it just doesn't have the pulling power, does it, of this? Nah, it's got nothing, mate, it's got nothing. I ain't gonna lie, I was enjoying just watching the 20 million pound machine next to me. Daniel, my car actually seemed to kick down and respond better than yours. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but the kick down was really delayed and it took a while for it to get going. So then, Mike, I'm gonna guess that at the half mile, you're doing 76. 79. It was just over 80. I mean, that's not bad, really, when you think about it. I got to just over 100. So you're not that far off in that crazy thing. You're not gonna like the next test, though. It's the brake test, Mike. Has my car got ABS? I've, I've got a feeling it has, because I've got an airbag, so it's probably got an ABS as well, yeah? You've got ABS, and you've actually got twin calipers on the front wheel, so it's, they're actually pretty bitey, those brakes. Does Yanni have ABS? I hope that he has ABS, because I'm not sure what's going to happen if he doesn't. I don't know. Yanni, good luck, mate. Right, now we're going to have a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop. The car that stops in the shortest distance wins. It's not going to be the blower. But just how will it stop? And what's going to happen to Yanni's car? Is Yanni going to crash and die? Here comes the line, everybody. Get ready. See if my dual calipers do the job. First things first, Yanni, did you have ABS? No. Your ability to stop that car without ABS was <laughs> insanely good. Did I beat you? I actually don't know. It's very close, mate. Very close. We'll ask the cameraman. He won. Daniel, you did win, but not by as much as I thought you would. No, actually, that very much surprised me. I thought the difference in time between these cars would also show up on the braking, but it didn't. It might do on repeated braking. I mean, this just dug in. I was really impressed. But actually, even though that blower is way ahead of us, I thought it'd be way, way worse. That has surprised me. I'm not that far ahead. Well, you sort of are. <laughs> but not as much as 100 years would suggest. Thank you, Matthew. I agree. Have we got a verdict on whether I beat you, Yanni? Yes, you beat me here. Yay! I think we'll end on that, that childish yay. Yay! Oh, this was so much fun. Thank you to Bentley for lending us these cars, especially that blower. Very rare car with loads of money, so it was really cool of them to lend it us. Is it all right if you take us for a ride at the runway, Mike? Of course it is, mate. You get in first, Jan. You get How do we back. get in? I don't there. know. Go on. on there. Step in the back. Mate, he wants me to step <laughs> on a 20 million pound car. Stop Come pushing on. me and I'll punch in your face. <laughs> right, okay. Where are we putting my Don't feet? Don't sit up there, you knobhead. You <laughs> do Where am I putting my feet, you knobhead? <laughs> Don't it. Well, uh, you're going to sit on the uh, camera, wait. That's fine. You're going to sit on the camera, you knobhead. <laughs> Where are the seatbelts? They're over there in the other cars. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's all right, actually, isn't it? Cozy? Yeah, we're you're, quite cozy. You won't be in a minute. Oh. Don't put your hood up, that's not fair. It's cold. It's, I know. It's not starting. Oh, oh starting. bugger. <laughs> Give her a minute. <laughs> Give her a minute. Oh, oh, shit. I'll him. <laughs> I'll get him. <laughs> Let's go. Can go on, go then. Are we ready? Yeah, how fast do you want this go? How fast do you want to go? Well, you see how fast you can go with it. Oh, you a minute. Wow, it's actually quite quick. I don't feel safe in it at all.
of my car. You okay about that? How fast did we go? 80. Do you know what? I'm feeling sick from the fumes. I'm right by the exhaust. That's why they had the big goggles. Yeah. Can I wear your glasses so I don't go blind? No. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Click on Yanni's face to watch some more videos. Or on his nose to subscribe to Car Wow. Thanks for watching.